Hello, I'm Carolyn Bertozzi, and I'm a professor of chemistry at Stanford University. I'm a chemical biologist by training, but I also have a long-standing interest in glycoscience and the development of chemical tools to help understand the biology of carbohydrates. Today I'll be telling you about a project that I've been working on with a collaborator, Professor Sharon Pateri, who's also a professor at Stanford. She's in the Department of Radiology in the medical school. And whereas my expertise is in chemical biology, Sharon is an expert mass spectrometrist. So I'll be telling you about our work, which is aimed at making glycoproteomics via mass spectrometry more accessible to the greater scientific community. And the way we're trying to do this is by developing a new method that we call isotag. It's a chemical glycoproteomics technique that allows the analysis of intact N and O glycopeptides from whole proteomes. So as many of you know, glycoproteins are major components of the cell surface. And when a cell changes from being in one state to another state, the structures of the glycans on those proteins can change. And it's not just true for glycoproteins on the surface of a cell. It's also true for glycoproteins that are secreted from a cell and that might be found in biological fluids. And many people are interested in understanding the details of these glycoproteins, the structures of the glycans and the places that they're attached to the protein, because that information could allow one to detect and diagnose diseases, especially diseases like cancer, where we know there are dramatic changes in the glycosylation of proteins. But doing just this, determining which proteins are glycosylated at which sites and with what glycan structures is very difficult to do for the average biologist and even for the average chemists. And it's exactly this information that we're trying to capture with our new tools that combine chemical biology and mass spectrometry. So we developed isotope-targeted glycoproteomics, which we abbreviate isotag, as a mechanism to be able to quickly grab glycoproteins from complex samples, such as body fluids, or from cultured cells in a dish, or even biopsy samples from a disease tissue, and grab those glycoproteins and process them to figure out which proteins have glycans of what structures and at what sites. The process begins with metabolic labeling. That is, we take the cultured cells or tissues and we literally feed those cells simple sugars that are chemically altered with clickable functional groups, such as the azide shown in this slide. The cell then does the hard work, which is to take those simple building blocks and integrate them into the glycans that are on both the cell surface glycoproteins and the secreted glycoproteins. In the next step, we break open the tissue so that now we have all the glycoproteins with their azide labeled sugars together with the other components of the cell. And the azide allows click reaction with a probe that we chemically synthesize. And in this slide, that probe is shown with these different geometric shapes. And I'll explain what those shapes mean in a minute. But once we've clicked this probe and therefore tagged the glycoproteins, we're able to capture them with streptavidin beads. That's because the little green ball is a biotin group, which binds with very high affinity to streptavidin. Now the glycoproteins have been separated from all the other molecules from the cell lysate, and that enrichment will make them much easier to characterize. But first, we have to digest those glycoproteins into smaller bits and pieces that are more friendly for a mass spectrometer. We typically do this with enzymatic proteolysis, with trypsin or chymotrypsin, or some combination of the two. And once the glycoproteins have been digested to peptides and glycopeptides, we can separate out the peptides and enrich just the glycopeptides. Now these are ready for mass spectrometry. But there's a trick, because you might notice that embedded within that probe is the little orange star with D2. That's a probe with two deuterium atoms. And those deuterium atoms give the glycopeptides that have been chemically tagged a special pattern that a mass spectrometer can see. So that makes these glycopeptides easy to find in a very complex mass spectrum using a software algorithm that we call ISOSTAMP. And this is a software algorithm that can be downloaded freely from our website. So the data get processed 
with this computational program to generate what's called an inclusion list. And this is a list of all the glycopeptides that were found and precisely where they elute on the HPLC. Then we can do a second analysis of the same sample and we know exactly where to look for the glycopeptides. And the mass spectrometer can fragment them once or even twice to figure out exactly the sequence of the peptide and the sequence of the glycan that's attached to it. And this is all the information that the glycoscientist wants to compare glycosylation patterns from one type of biological state to another type of biological state. So the probes are pretty important for this technology. And the probes that we design, again, they have a capture element, that's the biotin group shown in the top structure. Then they have a linker group that can be cleaved later on to liberate them from that streptavidin capture bead. But the isotag part is the part with those atoms that allow a pattern in the mass spec. And what's shown on the right here are the first generation probes that we made that have bromine atoms. But now we have our deuterium probes that we're sharing freely with the community. And each of these probes has a clickable group, an azide or an alkyne, to click onto that azide labeled sugar. So these new generation isotag probes are reactable with click chemistries or copper-free click chemistries. They allow the labeling of many different sugar types. They can be adaptable to many different experimental platforms. They're easy to synthesize, but also available from us. And they allow what, what we call the easy tag platform. So in a nutshell, you can get probes from us. You can also get protocols for experiments from us. And all of these are downloadable from isostamp.org, the website shown here, as well as the computational tools to analyze a metabolically labeled glycoproteomic sample using our operating procedures. And if you have any questions about this technology, please feel free to contact us at isotagglyco at stanford.edu. And we'll help walk you through the entire isotag procedure and make sure that you too can identify which glycans are at which sites on the proteins from your biological sample. Thank you.